Hi friends, welcome to testing to the respond. This is Lokesh and today we are going to dis uh, discussing about web table, how to handle for web table. First, before that, well, how many uh, types of tables are there? Means there are static, static and dynamic. Static and dynamic tables are there. Static means once you created the uh, table, it will not be changed any value. There is no change for that particular table. If you see something in the table that is called dynamic, dynamic is nothing but the value will be changed. If you refresh or something happen or loading time or first time it is load one values and second time it will change for another value. That kind of information. Okay. We will get very rare case dynamic, but who was working for marketing type of application that persons can able to get this dynamic web table. Normal people will not get that much of uh, things. Okay. And I'm going to show you for static values. This is a value which will not be changed any time because it is a constant of these values to identification of the, the table. We can able to see this is called HTML table that is it is presented like this and even we can able to see T body table body and here it is presented and table and inside the table we have T bodies and all okay. Once you get that we can able to see the X path here I have written already here T body slash TR if you mention TR then it will give the count of how many rows it is presented if you want for headers value we can able to get for th if cell value means td okay based upon the td we can able to get it the values okay but only thing is like in real time the format will be different but th and tr are common and tr and td is common but remaining things will be changed depends upon okay because if real time you will get for t header also in the t header you will see for this header part into that particular location okay and we can able to get it one by one okay and here i'm going to create outside of uh, one file call is uh, web table test dot js okay this is my file and i need to create for some functions here okay and class i'm going to create call it as a web table page okay now here i can able to first async get row count this is my function and what i can able to return await and i can double dollar and then i specifying here and single quotation and this particular trs TRs means seven TRs. We have seven TRs getting purpose. Okay. Dot length. Okay. Then again, I'm going to create four T headers. T headers, table headers. Get header count. Okay. And returning four. return a weight and I can able to use for th there are four th are presented <clears throat> double dollar and single quotation I need to paste for this one and dot length and semicolon and again cell values 24 cell values cell count And return a weight double dollar and here I can able to use for TD. TD is means cell value. Okay. For the cell value again I am going to pause it here and dot length. Okay. And now we have for <coughs> three cases set. Okay. Now I need to get for specific cell value. The specific cell value any row I can able to mention any cell one value I can able to get it from runtime okay for this I can able to use for get 
cell value. Here I can able to use for row, comma, column. We need to specify row and column. Then only it will return something. Let I am going to use it to store some value. Cell value equal to and again I am going to mention for await and single dollar and then I need to get the TD value right and again I am passing for this TD and I need to pass it here my cell value right here I can able to pass for row Okay, and again here I can column, okay, and up to here is okay. Then I'll get some value. return await cell dot get text we need to get the text value and we need to return for that particular text which text we are getting right for that i mentioned here okay then next one is to get the complete table values we need to get the get table values Okay, for this again, complete table we need to get it. Again, I'm using let and cells, and here again I'm going to use it for this specific one because complete table, right? And here again I'm going to use it here await cells dot for each okay for each and here I can able to use for await a sync AP and here I can able to uh, return my value what value I need to return element dot get text okay here I can pass it for a wait because we need to get the wait condition okay now we are done for functions creation now we need to export this particular file into our file uh, how we can able to export for export if you see sample also they will provide here login page location if you go for here the see here the module dot export and the present it okay if you copy and he exports a new which is a table we have right table base that page we need to make it for export okay we created for exported that particular page uh, that is class okay now we need to access into our normal class location okay normal file which is a spec we created in that here test uh, location we can able to access before access we export the table here but we cannot able to access directly this particular um, functions then what we can able to do it means copy here and the describe is there right in the describe side here constant and provide the table and equal to and we need to required we need to importing now we are importing that file okay and here single quotation if you mention one single do, dot and slash you can able to get it for current spec location which is the current look spe, uh, spec location this is the one we will get it for all the specs here okay alerts you can able to see right if you mention for double and slash again the spec folder will be comes but we don't want the spec because our table is presented outside of the specs then again we need to specify two dots and slash then you will get it for our file 
okay and this is our file no need to specify for uh, file name and here we can able to small letter different from file name root first specified all right where we specified we are not specified any location web table now if you are directly use the web table itself it will bring you for that particular file as well last time it is giving some error now it is not provided okay single quotation i use now it is double quotation okay and dot if you specify now you can see a raw count will be presented here and we can able to take this one console dot log and then we can able to use for await and specify for this particular file okay it will get for row count now i can run this particular one test web table spec Wait, years are zero. I'm checking the all the places, but the only thing is URL got changed. This is my URL. I'm using for all the old uh, registration page. It is not able to read the table. It is empty. It is providing. I just a copy pasted, but uh, still every time I'm checking the same one, but even I'm not able to see the proper things. Now you can see seven length is displayed. Okay, seven rows. Now same thing if you are using only problem is URL not the core level actually we can use for get header count the same thing we can able to use for get uh, column count and we can able to use it for get uh, row value our cell value we can able to and we can able to specify here is all the table values get all table values okay now we can i think we write the different format cell value yeah. cell value and here is table values it is overlapped my old code when i'm doing for undo time
I hope my functions are changed. Overlaps happen. Overlaps happen. When I'm doing undo, right, for checking where it is exactly failing time, that moment it is all the things are changed. Cell count, cell value, okay. Nothing code is not changed. Only thing is like uh, undo time, the functions are modified, which I written in the world. Okay, it is expecting for value here, cell value. Second row and first cell value. Cell value means this is a learn selenium. Directly we can able to hard code the value also, no problem. Now we can see one by one, In the top will go. Now here onwards our files will be start. Seven rows, four headers. Okay, 24 cell value, cell, cell count. Okay, now we are going to get it for single value purpose, learn selenium. Okay, learn selenium. We are going to get for learn selenium. Okay, then we need to get for all the cell values. Right, we can able to see cell value. Now you can see here onwards. Okay, result will be here. Up to here, we can able to copy and paste it here. You can see here, result learn selenium amid 300. Okay, if you go for application, learn selenium amid selenium 300. Okay, master in JS, okay, amid JavaScript 1000. You can see JavaScript 1000 master in amid. Okay, like this, we can able to get for all the cell values also. Okay, this is a dynamic page. Even I know I did not change in case if you see that my code also the same same code, which is like uh, undo time it is happened. My old code refreshed. Okay, after that again, I rechanged to old, which is the one I written in the class time. Okay, starting time what I write the same thing here. Okay. Nothing different. It will work for you as well. Okay, this is a way we can able to get the static web tables. Okay, dynamic also it will not change much. Only thing is here we are going to get the some values, right? Here we can able to get the, all the values. We can able to use some if condition. After getting of this particular uh, text, right? We can able to make it one file here. Let cell value equal to and this particular value okay and you can mention for one and make it for some if condition in that if condition you can able to write for this particular cell value is equal to equal to what you are expecting value both the cases are satisfied then you can able to click something or get something like that we can able to write it and in case if that uh, particular page it is that value is not presented then you can able to previous page and uh, uh, things are will be presented that time we can able to use for clicking for previous page or next page those things you can able to click and you can able to check again one more time for for loop okay that move that case we can able to achieve okay i hope it this information will help you to learn about this self driver i would Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.